If you're going to be driving in the next week or two, well, there are some changes you're going to have to take note of. Uber and Lyft recently announced some new safety guidelines, some things you should do, some things you have to do, and some things you absolutely cannot do. In this video, I'm going to share with you all the details uh, of these updates. And stick around. At the end of the video, I'm going to share with you what I think of some of these changes. Hey everybody, it is Jay Crater with the Rideshare Guy. It is 7 in the morning. And we got some breaking news late yesterday, so I'm uh, up early bringing the news to you. Just had a little bit of my Nespresso. I am all fired up, <laughs> showered and shaved, and uh, let's do it. So some background. Hey, no kidding. We're in a pandemic. The world, as we know it, has changed. Things are starting to, you know, reintegrate into the economy. That means Uber and Lyft are looking at what do they need to do so that they can keep doing what they've been doing, but being safe for the driver, safe for the passenger, and safe for them, right? Uh, huge liability driving people around when there's this uh, virus, you know, just in the air that we can't even see. So let's jump right in. So number one is, if you're going to be a driver, you're going to be wearing a mask, all right? Now, it could be a mask like this. This is a, a, a cut-up sock, all right? Nothing fancy. You can take a sock and cut it like that, okay? If you're driving, you're going to have to wear a mask, all right? In fact, Uber is going to be doing, um, you know, the, the real ID check that they do, where you got to look into the camera and smile and click, yeah. And uh, now they've got it set up so that they can tell if you have a mask on. Or you can get one of these kind of cooler masks that uh, you can feel like you're a doctor and uh, wear something like that. I find these to be far more comfortable than the sock. They seem to breathe better, although I still hate wearing these things because I can like, even when I'm talking to you now, I can feel heat up in my eyes. And if I'm wearing sunglasses, they can get a little steamy. But this is what's required now if you're going to be a driver. So this is what it's going to look like. You're going to be driving your car like this, okay? Both Uber and Lyft are saying this is mandatory. Not only is it mandatory for the, the uh, drivers like you and me, but also for the passenger. The passenger also has to wear a mask. So if you're driving and you see a passenger and they don't have their mask on, you can cancel on them and get your $5 cancellation fee. Now, sometimes that makes sense if it's a very short ride, but you know, if you've got a passenger who's going to the airport and there aren't a lot of rides around, you're gonna want to pick up that passenger. So what I recommend you do is you go down to uh, Walmart, that's where I went, and you can pick up a box of face masks. And then you can say, hey, in order to be in the car, you know, you gotta have a face mask and you can give them a face mask, right? You can also pick up some hand sanitizer Say, hey, would you like some hand sanitizer, right? Hand sanitizer. You can get this. I got this at Walmart also, all right? So you can keep your hands nice and clean. This is the new normal. This is what I'm sharing with you. And also I got this at Walmart. You can also get these gloves, which if I were driving, I think I would wear these, right? Because you're just coming into contact with a lot of surfaces. I got this whole box for under $10. Uh, again at, at Walmart so the stuff is becoming more and more available but you got to wear the mask okay so number three is uh, Uber and Lyft are going to be providing some of these supplies so you know if you can't get to Walmart for some reason uh, and, and you just want to wait till you can get some supplies from Uber and Lyft you can you can do that um, right now I'm seeing like a lot of you know cleaning hand stuff not a lot of masks yet. So my recommendation remains, even though Uber is gonna spend $50 million on supplies and, and Lyft is spending some money on supplies, go get your own because they're not that expensive. And um, it's a nice, basically this is what I call tip magnets, right? Things you can provide to your passengers, which will make them happy and they'll wanna tip you because you're helping them out. I mean, you got to imagine if you're going to pick up a passenger, they don't have a mask and you can say, look, I can't take you because you don't have a mask. You know, let me let me give you one of mine. 
that person's probably going to give you a tip. That's a pretty nice thing you just did for them. Um, so they're, they're going to be providing some supplies, but my recommendation is go out and get your own. So here's what Uber said about the supplies that they're going to be providing to the drivers. We have allocated $50 million to purchase supplies like masks, gloves, hand sanitizer, disinfectant sprays, and wipes. As of this week, we've secured more than 23 million masks for drivers and delivery people around the world. Many of these items were shipped directly to drivers' homes. So again, that's great, but don't, don't, don't depend on Uber. Go get your own sanitizer. Go get your own face mask. Go get your own gloves. Keep your car clean. Keep yourself clean and have some supplies for your passengers because believe me, they will uh, reward you most likely with tips for helping them out. They'll appreciate it. Okay, number four, there's like this safety checklist and this is from Uber and I'm just gonna read it to you right now. It says, before you go online to drive or deliver, you will be asked to confirm via a new go online checklist that you've taken certain preventative measures. The go online checklist includes steps such as having on a face cover or mask, that you have sanitized your vehicle or food delivery equipment, and that you will not allow anyone to ride in your front seat. On the rider side, in addition to riders confirming they are wearing a mask, the rider also must agree to sit in the back seat and open windows for ventilation. All right, so that brings us to number five. No longer can you have somebody sitting in your front seat. That is verboten, no good cannot happen anymore. I find this to be a bit disheartening. Some of my favorite passengers have been people that have sat in the front seat. I still recall, like it was yesterday, I was on Highway 280 driving from San Jose up to San Francisco and I was playing my music and uh, Miles Davis came on and the guy said, uh, he said, uh, A Peaceful Way. Have you ever listened to A Peaceful Way? That's my favorite song of all time. I was like, no, I've never heard that before. So I found it. The windows were down. We were listening to this beautiful music. You know, the wind in our face. It was great. And, you know, now that guy can't sit next to me. So the other thing is, as a passenger, I loved sitting in the front seat. I love to talk with, with drivers, you know, and talk shop. So those days are, are gone for the time being, and that's because of social distancing. So, I don't know. So this is like three feet, you know, me to the person in the front seat versus maybe four feet. I don't really see that this is a big difference since we're sitting inside of a big metal box. Um, so this so far is something that Uber has uh, instituted. We haven't heard Lyft say, say that this was gonna be a rule for them yet although typically Lyft follows suit. I hope they don't, because I primarily drive for Lyft and I actually really enjoy having somebody in the front seat. And my gosh, if we're both wearing masks, don't you think we can just sort of hang out in the front seat together? Those uh, passengers that sit in the front seat with us, you know, they're the ones that want to engage, they want to talk. And uh, they kind of make your day a little more interesting rather than the person that sits in the back, you know, looking at their phone you know, just like that. But that's the new rule with Uber. Nobody sits in the front seat except you. All right, so what are the key takeaways? This is the new normal, baby. <laughs> this is how life is going down. We got this germ, this virus, and the world's gone crazy. So in order to protect ourselves, we got to take these precautions. In order to keep driving and making money as a driver, we've got to take these precautions. These are not suggestions. These are things you've got to do. If you cannot pass your little real ID test, you know, where you look in the phone and you smile and have a mask on, you're not going to be able to drive. You're not going to get any pings. So you got to have your mask on and your passenger has to have the mask on. Um, so that's that's that that's it and no one's sitting in the front seat so I'm okay with the mask part that makes sense right somebody's sick I don't want them breathing on me when I'm in a car if I'm sick and I don't even know it I don't want to make somebody else sick 
All right, I get that. But the no front seat thing doesn't make sense. Three feet, four feet, no matter how much we social distance, we're inside of a closed environment breathing together. So I, I do miss the front seat passenger. That I miss because they added a little bit of pizzazz, a little bit of uh, excitement in the car because uh, they wanted to talk. Why would they sit in the front seat? You know, that's why most people want to sit in the front seat. So everyone's got to make up their own mind. Is this a deal breaker for you? The fact that you're going to have to wear, you know, put this thing on. You're going to have to keep washing your hands every passenger. You might want to wear some gloves. Is that a deal breaker for you? Are you going to find something else to do? Or are you going to keep driving? Every driver has got to make their own decision. But at least Uber and Lyft have laid down the rules. And now we know what they are. And we can decide if we want to play with them or not. For me, I got to say, I think it's time for my plan B to become my plan A. It's still too risky for me to go out and drive. Even with a mask and gloves and all of this stuff, to have 15 or 20 people in my car a day, and then I'm coming back home where I have an 81-year-old, a very high-risk category person, um, who's my mother, I simply can't take that risk. How terrible would it be to live the rest of my life knowing I gave my mother COVID-19 and she died? So uh, my driving days for the time being, you know, are curtailed and uh, plan B becomes plan A. But you got to make your own choice. You know, what are you going to do? Um, you're going to wear the mask. You're going to keep people out of your front seat. Up to you. At any rate, I really appreciate you spending some time with me and learning about the new safety rules that Uber and Lyft have. Uh, 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 be, be uh, what's the word? Bethrothed? Bestowed upon us. Yes, they have bestowed upon us. And now we can respond to them appropriately for each and every one of our situation. Thank you for watching. This is Jay Crater with The Rideshare Guy. I thoroughly invite you to like the video. Give it a thumbs up. That'll allow more people to see it. If you've not subscribed to our channel yet, subscribe. And uh, by all means, sign up for notifications. We're doing a lot of really great um, YouTube lives. You know, we've had a, a, an attorney. We've had a CPA. Um, we're having people on with Harry who can help answer questions that are coming up as a result of, of this uh, illness that has taken over the world. Y'all go out and have a great day and be safe out there. Bye for now.